So, yes. I think that's like one of my favorite, that one. That one too. It sounds so cool. Is it D7? Um, yes. Yeah, something like that. It's, it's D minor. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Y
that's, that's cool. Yes, one of the easiest songs like that you can play. Do you want to try? Okay, but I can't switch that fast. That's okay. It takes me a long it takes, time. It takes time, it's fine. So which one is first? It's G. Okay, so that's... So. Oh, that one? This one? Oh, no, 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 you got it right. I got it. Oh, I, I hit the wrong one. It's okay. I felt pressure, but yeah, it's also it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And there's, um, what's the, I'm trying to think of another song that has those chords. Um, the A Team by Ed Sheeran is like, it doesn't have that same chord progression, but it's the same chords. It's just a oh, different, just order. different order. You know what, what's neat is because I'm at the beginning and I knew what chord was coming up next, that's what I was thinking of while yeah. I was doing the one prior. I was thinking, Okay, I've got to move my fingers to yeah. this spot next. Yeah. Yeah. So try to be on the ball, right? So when I'm doing this, I'm thinking, okay, D is coming up. That's how slowly it, 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 your brain works when, you, when something is new, right? Everything slows down. Yeah. After a while, like, especially, like, when I learn a song, I'll look up the chords, and I just, like, yeah. it's easier to play. Yeah. But, like, it just takes time to learn, like, I don't know how, like, to switch really fast. Yeah. It took me a long time. It becomes more natural. Like, after I finished learning Perfect, mm -hmm. I think, uh, she taught me to learn another song with different chords, and it was harder again. Like, I thought, yeah. like, oh, I'm going to be able to switch super fast now, but then Great. you learn another song with different chords, and it's harder. So it's like, it takes time to learn how to switch from different chords. Yeah, like, even sense. now, I don't know all the chords, and I still have to, I'm still learning how to play. It makes me think about um, my own expectations of my students, though, mm -hmm. in school. So I, I keep thinking, okay, well, as long as you know this, now we can do this. Exactly. And I expect the same sort of speed. Yeah. Or, I guess, achievement, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay, we've analyzed this painting using these elements, mm -hmm. let's say. So you feel pretty confident. And yeah. then I'll move on to a different type of painting or artwork. And we analyze it, but it's different. So now we have to slow down again. But meanwhile, it's almost like my expectations are, are up here because I'm okay with it, but yeah. you're yeah. still learning. So what what can you, how can I learn from that as a teacher right. with expectations of my students? Right. So it's, it's hard to figure that out. Yeah. And it's hard to put yourself in the place of a learner. Yeah. Again. Your it's like, like a your an identity crisis, yeah. I suppose, yeah. right? We have to think about that. Yeah, because you're so used to teaching and knowing like everything and teaching other people how to do it. So I, guess. Yeah. I think a lot of teachers stray away from that too. Is like they're so used to being a teacher, they're not used to learning, and it's a lot of teachers can argue that when they do that. But you're always open to opportunities. Like, it's not every teacher's closed-minded, but some are. Yeah. And it's hard when they. A new topic comes but around. I think it just happens, unfortunately, a little bit too naturally. It does, yeah. Without you knowing it. Yeah. But how do you how do you do anything about that? Exactly. It's just I think you have to be op more open minded to things like school. You have to be open minded for that. Like the whole school. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just the whole premise of like you're teaching these kids, you're teaching these kids, but you can also learn a lot from them too. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you convince someone of that who's kind of in that? Not so good place. But. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You're getting faster at that. I'll get there. I'll, <laughs> I'll keep practicing. Did anyone tune into our broadcast, Forty? Yeah, we had 14 at one time. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Daily thing to do for the class, just yeah. 
It's fun. I wanted, well, yeah. and some people would see this as a waste of time. I, I swear that they would, because it wouldn't be directly uh, doing your yeah. curriculum for that class. But it's not. But it's it's not. learning. It's. But it encourages you to to do what you want. Exactly. Do what you need to. That's that's kind of what, like. This is art. So, yeah. yeah, it's it's art. <laughs> <It's laughs> I love this. Oh, it's cute. I've so, had a little bit. Can you show something to Kayla because she's missing the bottom yeah. string because it had to be switched. Yeah. And we didn't have but one to report. replace it with. Yeah. Mm. What cards do you know? None. None. Oh, well, she, she taught me. She was learning. Um, whatever this one is. Oh, is that A minor? That's E if you put it right there. Then that's E. Right there? Oh, okay. Got a nice sound on your guitar, too. Got a nice one? Yeah, it's like deeper. Yeah. I think it's actually like your strings on it. That's what gives them that tone. Mm -hmm. It sounds oh, okay. nice. Here. Yeah, this I had like when I first started, I started with like a folk guitar, which is it was maybe this a little bigger than this. It was just black. Yeah. Because um, I don't know, it's easier to start with a smaller guitar. Mm -hmm. I find. At yeah. Least. Just because you can see better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can especially, like easy. especially when you're like small. Like maybe if you're a girl and dad, then maybe yeah. Should, yeah, it's fine. But like I don't know, I found it easier. Um, let me think of chords that don't involve. Well, too much of the bottom. Should you try C? C as well? I don't know where you're going. The second one? Or this one? And then up. I think this one goes here. Your. I don't think this one's there. And then this one. I can't miss that. It's, it's harder to stretch <laughs> at first, yeah. Where I am now? Yeah. You might have to press harder on the strings. And it feels like at first. Yeah, it'll be. It's gonna get sore, but then. But my, like my fingers are hard now. So, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Like I don't know. And like. You have calluses. Yeah, like, yeah. Mine's. Yeah, so you hurt it. It'll too. get. Yeah. When I first started, I was playing like all the time because I was like really <laughs> obsessed, yeah. and like my fingers would like crack and like bleed and stuff. Yeah. And because and like I would pick the calluses. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> um, and yeah, but it just gets. It doesn't hurt as much after a while because your fingers like get harder. Get and then, to, yeah. yeah, exactly. Sometimes, like when you're not pressing hard enough on the strings, it doesn't doesn't come out as press. Yeah. So when if just like that, press what I started with was just pressing my thumb against the back. Oops, I'm on the wrong string. And it just. There's like videos yeah. on YouTube of like how to like stretch your fingers. Yeah. Yeah. And like stuff like that. Because there's still right chords here. that like you have to like stretch all the way, and oh. I'm like, I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And but like for me, it was easier to start guitar because I'm in piano, and like you really have to stretch your fingers for that. So yeah. that's why it was easier for me. But if you've never, Ooh, like, if you're not used to stretching your fingers, there's lots of videos on like. Stuff you could do, like you wouldn't think that, eh? Yeah, that like doesn't with, occur to you. With like piano, you... I just started just going like this every day for a few minutes, and it just, it's just a, like it. Yeah. They become more flexible, I guess. That's true. And, yeah. That's true. Exactly. So okay, do you know the song "Nineteen" by Ed Sheeran? I know the song. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you start with G, which is this one with your pointer finger, and then this one with your middle finger, and then you go down. Okay, you don't have to do that. There. It's not. It's, it's the not that. there. Okay. So. So you do that for two, two bars of four. So you go to E minor, which is just these two. Yeah. And then on one, you go to C. 
which is the one you just did. The one that I'm having trouble yeah. with. Yeah. <laughs> this one, right? Yeah. I'll hold it for you. There you go. There? Yeah. <laughs> the struggle is real. <laughs> and then you go back to G. And it's pretty much that until until you get to a certain part. What one is G again? This one. Okay, so yeah. that and then the bottom. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's super easy. You just pretty much play the G chord and then you switch. <laughs> when you get used to it, like yeah, exactly. practice, like that's all you can do is just practice, 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 and yeah. you can't be discouraged. Like I know I get discouraged really easily, and yeah. somebody's always saying like, "You can't do this, you can't do that," and it. it, makes it me want to do it more. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. It, I get that's, discouraged. That's like that's what like the term in education right now is grit. How do you change the attitude from "Oh, I'm discouraged and I give up" yeah. to don't tell me yeah, what to yeah. do. I can, exactly. I'm not I'll giving up. I'm, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm going to do this. Like, how, I, do you, how do you switch from that to that? It's it's just kind of like if you have enough motivation and like determination to really like yeah. like learn a chord. Yeah. yeah. It was super something super simple. Like mm. I remember when I first started, or still when I'm learning a new chord, I get really frustrated. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to practice this chord for ten minutes. And then I'll be like, okay, I'm really frustrated by now. Yeah. And then I'll be like, okay, and then I'm going to take a five-minute break, and then I'll go back, and then I'll take a five-minute break. And then, because you can't, like, push yourself too hard because then it, you just get frustrated and you give up. Right. So you have to, like, balance, I guess, mm -hmm. and take, like, little breaks and, like, go back to it, you know? So, so I guess, like, if we're, if we're using our own lessons from how to learn something like guitar mm -hmm. in our classes, yeah. Like, we should use those same ideas. Yeah. With even stuff we don't really like. Yeah. How can we do that? Right? Yeah. Because you have to. I wonder how that would help pe other people in school. Exactly. Because I know if I'm in a class or learning anything that I don't want to, but I need to do it. Yeah. Oh. You don't have the motivation to do it, no. right? No. And so how can we do that? It's the hard to get it. Thing? to get the motivation because if you're not interested in something, you're not going to want to do it, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess with everything, you have to like find a way to make it interesting to everybody. Yeah. So like different people like learning in different ways and like, yeah. I don't know, like... It's hard, right? It's hard exactly. to articulate what that is. So like, for example, like if you're teaching somebody guitar, some people like to teach it, like to learn something like like hands on and stuff mm -hmm. and like have a guitar and like have somebody talk to them and teach it to them and other people just like to read like chords off the internet and stuff and you have to like accommodate to different learning styles and stuff and like so not think, everybody's gonna learn another thing it's hard to like teachers and stuff too it's like they don't always accommodate to everybody's learning like exactly. yeah. you get in that math class and you gotta learn it one way and yeah but maybe the teacher doesn't know how to Exa teach yeah. in different ways. Exactly, and that's something like some kids don't understand. Like, that's why like some kids like to label teacher as a bad teacher, and it's not, it's not that they're a bad teacher. They just that's how they learn. That's how they, they learn. Teach. Yeah, and it's it's just that's when you have to go talk to your teacher about it, and that's what kids sometimes yeah. like to do. Yeah. yeah, like how do you teach your teacher a different way to teach? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, tongue twister. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Rose, you have a Skype video call oh, from Colin. That's okay. We'll, I'll catch up on you. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. How do you teach your teacher? Teach? We should put that question out there. Yeah, we should. Yeah, That'd be okay. a really good something to do. We should. Yeah. Would you guys like to like retweet that and will, give yeah. suggestions? Yeah. I won't make that as a hashtag, though. That would be insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long hashtag. <laughs> I'll tweet it right now. Yeah, please. I'll retweet it. We'll put it out to my PLN, which is my personal learning community. How do you or, teach? No, network. How do you teach, How teach? How do you teach a teacher? Make sure you spell it right. Teach you to teach. How do you teach, teach your teacher a new way to teach? Or a different way. A different way. Mm. Different. Look over your shoulder. Yeah, just yeah, make sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, sensitive.
too bad. It's so frustrating at first. My mom's like, well, you have it sitting there. You might as well start now. Yeah, exactly. It's relaxing. Huh? It's relaxing playing. Yeah, exactly. I like the sound of an acoustic guitar. Same. Same. Always have. Exactly. Oh, Miss like, Rosie, don't, like, he keeps trying to call you. He does. And that's okay. Yeah. I'll call him back. Okay. Yeah. I think that's okay. That's if you just do that, that, that's good. Perfect. All right. Oh, we did a lot today. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. I think we did good today. Yeah. Went a lot. That all sink in so that I know. That's right. Yeah. I can't do too much. Yeah. Exactly. Build on that knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Good. Well. Thanks, thanks for tuning in.